What's up guys, hope you're having a good day. So we got another story today. Uh, this one is definitely on the sad side. This is not like a funny story, unfortunately, but it is an important story I think needs to be told. Um, so my white friend got killed by a police officer in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm putting emphasis on white because the story is 100% factual. And every time you read a story in the media about someone getting killed by a police officer, the victim is always black and the cop is always white. Never do they talk about the incidences where um, a white person gets killed by a cop. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that today. And listen, this story, it did make the local news. I will say it did make the local news. But it was like two articles and that's it. No mainstream uh, media articles picked it up, anything like that. And I knew this kid personally, so we're going to get right into it. So I had a second job at a local pizza place that I delivered for a few nights a week. And this kid... I don't really want to say his name because I don't want it to get too, too personal, but I will say when it happened. Uh, the actual shooting happened in December of 2018. So if you can go find it and do your research, you'll probably be able to find the story. But it happened in December of 2018. This is when it happened. So I worked at this pizza restaurant. I delivered. He worked on the inside. And, and we got to know each other. We went out. We hung out. Uh, he told me, listen, this kid's life was absolutely tragic. He showed me his arm and he had like scars all up and down from where he would cut super deeply. He attempted suicide many, many times. He told me, he told me that his mom used to uh, beat the living hell out of him as a child and that she had schizophrenia. And he told me that his um, father was neglectful and he lived with his grandma when I met him and, and she was constantly kicking him out. So he'd have to go sleep. And, and let me also, I didn't mention this. He, was, he had just turned 18 in that September of 2018 and he got killed in December. So I told him for three months, he was an adult. And he told me as a, as a child, as a teenager, his grandma would kick him out and he'd have to go sleep on park benches or he'd have to go sleep in um, like wherever he could find. Like at his high school, he, he would, well, he was a dropout, but his old high school, he would sleep on a bench there or something like that. So super, super tragic tragic life he dealt with severe depression um and he told me that he was suicidal he had he had attempted suicide multiple times he said he tried to pull the trigger one time and something happened with the gun and just super tragic life but i hung out with him and he had a good heart i will say that for all the terrible terrible tragic life that he had he still had a good heart and if I ever asked him anything, I was like, hey, can you do this? Can you do that? He was always like happy to do it. So he, he had a good heart. We had some good laughs together. Um, it, it was, I'm glad that I got to know him and that we were friends. I do consider him a friend. Well, anyway, so this is what happened with the, when the cop shot him. Um, one day, and I was actually working that night. He had quit like a month prior uh, to this pizza place we worked at. And I was working that night and I saw a bunch of cops, like across, it was across the street from, from where uh, we both worked at one time and I walked in and, the, and the, the manager of the place goes he was like yeah there was a there was a shooting right across the street um uh I guess a cop was involved or something some crazy guy went crazy I'm like what in the world that's so crazy no clue at this point what had happened except what the manager just said so the next day I'm scrolling through Facebook and I see his picture pop up with the article officer involved shooting and it was my friend it was a picture of him and I go, oh shit. So I clicked it, I read the article and I sent it to my manager. I was like, bro, it was it was so-and-so that worked here. Again, I don't want to say his name. It was him, it was him. He was like, oh shit. Cause he was the one that told me that the thing happened across the street but we didn't know who it was or anything. So anyway, this is what happened. So um, this is, again, I want to say this. The officer was not wearing his uh, his body cam. So it's only his word against whoever else. It was only him and him and my friend that saw what happened. And it led to my friend's tragic death. So what happened was my friend had a BB gun that was that was made to look like a pistol. And he robbed, again, like I said, he had a lot of emotional problems. Um, but again, nice guy if you get to know him. But yes, he did have his problems. He did have his, did have his issues and I'm not denying that. So he robbed a girl. Um, 
there was a delivery girl. I guess she worked for like Bite Squad or something like that. And but then this is this just goes to show that you know he wasn't all there. You know he had some issues. He literally robbed her. Then he went back up to her and he was like, "Never mind, it's not about the money." And handed her the money back. He gave it back to her. So she goes down the street to this uh, this Walmart. She finds an off-duty police officer. She stops him and she says, "Hey, this guy just robbed me, but then he ended up giving, he ended up giving the money back to me. But I still want to report it." So she gave a description of, of my friend, and they put out like an alert, like, "Hey, be on the lookout for this guy if you see him in the in the area of this part of Jacksonville or whatever." So a, a cop ends up seeing him. He finds him. And he says when he went up to go talk to him and ask him about the situation, he said my friend pointed the BB gun at him that they, he thought was supposedly a real gun, but it was a, it was just a BB gun uh, replica. And he said when he did that, he shot at my friend, but he didn't know if he hit him or not. So my friend took off running, and a few minutes later, they found him laying on the ground in the corridor of an apartment on the bottom, laying there dead from a gunshot wound to the chest, bleeding out completely. Now, whenever I hear this story, I just think to myself, I think, can you imagine running, having adrenaline, but having just been shot in the chest, but you still have adrenaline, your body's still going, and as you're running, you're pumping more blood, and then you lay down, and your life right there is just ending, and there's nothing you can do about it. He didn't wake up that day thinking, you know, you're going to get shot by a cop today. So it's just absolutely mind-boggling to me. Now again, this officer uh, was not wearing a body cam. I actually found an article. He was cleared of any wrongdoing. The shooting was ruled just justified. Uh, about a year and a half later, the shooting happened in December of 2018, and he was cleared of any wrongdoing in May 2020. So about a year and a half. Um, again, the only people that know for sure is God, this officer. And my friend who unfortunately is no longer with us, what really happened? Um, could the officer have not actually fired the gun? Yeah, definitely. 100%. 100%. If that was a civilian that just shot him, I mean, who knows? This might be a different story we're telling right now. But again, I wasn't there. But you, I guarantee you, if that would have been a black kid that got shot by an officer, this would have been front page news on CNN, MSNBC, uh Maybe Fox, I don't know, wherever else. Yahoo, for sure. But I just feel like this should be reported more fairly because let me tell you facts right now. More white people get get killed by police officers and police officer-involved shootings every year than black people do, but you never hear about them. You never hear about them. If you're going to report it like it's a huge deal, like cops shouldn't be killing citizens, the people that they're actually supposed to be working for, then maybe you should just report it all fairly instead of picking and choosing and trying to make it a political issue. So again, I feel horrible for my friend. Uh, I'm not trying to really politicize what happened to him, but I do want to bring more attention to it because it hardly got any attention. And again, like I said, he had emotional issues, 100%. He was suicidal, 100%. He told me. He showed me the scars all up and down his arm. But he was a good person. He had a kind heart. It's just so unfortunate that he came from such a sorry, bad situation with horrible parents and just a real messed up, mentally ill bunch of people and it made him mentally ill too they passed it on to him so i'm just gonna leave it there guys i know it was kind of a sad story but white people do get killed by cops too and you never hear about it these media companies are absolutely disgusting that they pick and choose which articles to push and make it a big deal when my friend got hardly any attention except for a local two local articles they they reported it when it happened and then they, they had a vigil for him uh, and they reported when the vigil happened. And that was it, two articles, you're done. So, uh, whereas when these other things happen, you hear about it all over the place, you know what I mean? So, really sad. Uh, I do wanna say this, be kind to people because you never know what someone is going through. Like, think about my friend. He had such a rough life, such a rough life. He only got to live 18 years. He was barely a man, barely an adult. And it was just, a terrible life. You know, you don't know what the, like the terrible things people are going through, that's going on in their home life. You know what I mean? You, be kind to your coworkers. Be kind to, you know, people they don't know that well that maybe, you know, are a little weird or whatever. But they're they're going through a lot. You don't know what they went through or what they're going through on a daily basis. So that's all I would say. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you've never been here. If you like stories like this, uh, this one wasn't really about me per se, but it was about a close friend of mine, um, and I just wanted to tell it. 
Uh, give me a like. Let me know in the comments. If, do you know anyone that's got killed by a cop? Um, and, and, you know, that's pretty much it. I'll leave it there today. Thank you guys so, so much. And I'll talk to you later.